We're on the line with Gareth Van Sale, who's got five runners at Hollywood Bets Scottsville this Sunday, the 7th of February. We're recording the show early on Friday morning, but it's good to catch up with Gareth. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm well, thank you very much. Thank you for having me on the show. You looked to have a couple of nice runners at uh, Hollywood Bet Scottsville on Sunday, kicking off in the third race, which is the first leg of the pick six with number 14, Coromandel, one of only three rides on the day for Anton Marcus. And just as an aside, all three of his rides have saddlecloth number 14. <laughs> so Coromandel by Silvana has had three starts, fifth in his last two outings. He is the second choice in the early market exchanges. How's he doing back home? What are you expecting? Graham, he's well within himself. He's obviously just um, come, come down recently from Cape Town, and he, he's a, a Silvana horse, a colt that's going to look for a bit more ground. Um, so probably be running on at them from, from that bad draw, I would imagine. But um, yeah, a Anton, he's, he's a consummate professional, and he'll, he'll be what's best in the situation as they jump from the, from the gates. But um, within himself, he's well. Um, I, I do imagine that he'll just need this run a little bit to, to bring him on and ultimately looking for further. So, I mean, I, we expect a, a good showing from him, but it'll probably be a surprise if, if he did have to win. OK, well, that in itself is important information. Your next runner comes up in race five, number six, Sleeva Nora, four-year-old daughter of Irish Flame, who's won twice from only five starts. Disappointing effort last time. Any excuses? No, it's a, that was the first run after almost a year off. She she had surgery, and um, yeah, I, I just have to be kind to her in, in bringing her back to to her peak fitness, which that that run would have helped towards. So yeah, um, she she is she has come on since that effort, and she she has got ability, but um, we've had to nurse her back um, kindly, if I could say. So we're expecting a prove, an, an improved run from her. And um, I'm hoping she can run into the quartet on, on Sunday. Then two runners in race number seven. The early favourite, number 14, Arctic Tune, who's uh, won his last couple of races and is very progressive. And the stable mate is number 11, Super Agra. Let's deal with number 11, Super Agra, first. Um, Graham, Super Agra is a, a magnificent specimen. And... Uh, yeah, his, his last run showed that he's looking for further now. He's a horse with scope for improvement, and we're going to put the blinkers on him on Sunday. I expect that he'll, he'll, he'll run a better race than what he did last time. I, I was a little bit disappointed in that effort, but um, he might also ultimately need gelding, though. So he's a big, uh, scopey colt, and you know, he's very laid back. So if the blinkers don't do the trick, and if he, if he doesn't show... As, um, more than he did on his last start, then he'll, he'll get gelded. But, um, yeah, a, a horse that um, I, I would put into the play, but uh, a little bit on the fence at the moment as, as to whether he's going to put it all in. So that leaves the stable mate. Arctic Tune is the early 4-1 to one, the favourite in an open handicap. Obviously not in Arctic Tune's favour that he's drawn out so deep at gate 14. But is he still improving? Yeah, he's a, he's a lovely horse, um, Graham, and, and I, I think that he'll still um, rise in the in the handicap rating. So, yeah, he, he's a horse on the up, and um, obviously that that draws um, a terrible negative. Um, but uh, no no surprise if if he's able to to run them down. He's very he's very well within himself. His his work is good, and um, he's a horse that I think we'll we'll still have quite a bit more fun with. Now, given the draw, um, will the tactics be nonetheless to go forward, get him into a good position, or try to get him into a good position? Graham, I, I would think probably a half decent position. You know, um, he's a horse that had terrible um, issues at the start previously, and you know, to, to start bustling him now, which which hasn't been the case. He's been, you know, he's been ridden kindly to give him experiences, and you know, you you, you want to be kind of, you know more on his side than, than telling him what to do. So we'd hope to, to overcome a few from the bad draw, but I, I don't think we'd be too aggressive with him uh, and start sending him those signals as he, he can go over the top. Uh, any concerns that he's making his debut at Hollywood Bet Scottsville? Um, no, I, I actually think he'd 
prefer a galloping track. You know, he's always been uh, running at them and finishing strong. And I think with a longer straight, he, he'll be more effective. OK, so that's Arctic Tune. He's only had the three starts. He's won his last two, certainly heading in the right direction, but a terrible draw to overcome. But that's not the case for your fancied runner in the last. Shape of View has been priced up 22 to 10 favourite to win the final race at Hollywood Bet Scottsville on Sunday. She's had to deal with poor draws in the past, but the barrier has been kind to her. Should be very hard to beat. Yes, Graham, uh, definitely, um, you know, now coming from draw one, um, it's, it's, it's a length or two in hand at least, you know, um, compared to what she's been asked of. And being there for free, um, I think she, she, it's her race to lose. And she's doing well at home? Very well, yeah. Within herself, I mean, you know, if I, if I look at it from a punter's perspective, um, I think um, if someone has had a bet on her and sees her in the parade ring or preliminaries, they, they'd be somewhat happy with what they see. Gareth, thank you very much for your input. We always value and appreciate your contribution. Always a pleasure. Thank you, Dan.